Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I've got some of the most important Facebook ads training that you may have ever seen. So first of all, I want to show you some of my results since January 6th for this particular ad account, um, just over 400,000 in spend and 1.2, just over $1.2 million in sales. What I'm going to show you in this video is when I started to understand what I'm about to show you, it completely transformed my way of looking at how I would advertise on Facebook. So the first thing I want to show you is this, how the winner of the auction is determined. If you're new to Facebook ads, if you've been spending hundreds of dollars on Facebook ads and you just haven't seen the results that you hoped for, and you're not really sure whether the data is good or not, and you're not really sure what your next step should be, make sure you watch this video all the way through because I'm going to address all of those things. So by the time you finish watching this video, you'll know exactly what you need to do next in order to turn things around. So in case you wasn't aware, if you're new to Facebook ads, Facebook ads is an auction. Think of it as like eBay. eBay, you're bidding to buy a physical product, but on Facebook, you are bidding to win the impression on somebody's device. What that essentially means is that if me and you are competing for a certain audience on Facebook, whoever wins that auction, gets to put their ad on that person's device, essentially, um, kind of breaking it down into its simplest terms. The auction is not just made up of the people who have the most money and have the highest bid will win, whereas on eBay it is, of course, whoever bids the highest amount is going to win the auction. That's not the case on Facebook, so you don't have to worry about having thousands and thousands of dollars to invest in ads in order to see results. There's other things that go into the auction that mean that me and you, small businesses, can compete with some of the bigger guns, okay? Think about it. If it was 100% based on who has the bigger numbers, there would be no market for small-time advertisers for smaller businesses like myself, like yourself, so there's other things as well. The reason why this is crucially important to Facebook too is because ultimately they have kind of like a juggling act to do. It's like a balancing act. On one hand, they want to make as much money as possible, but on the other hand, they want to keep the platform as enjoyable as possible to use. If they just gave the bid or let the person with the biggest budget win every single time, it, it's not always going to mean that the person with the biggest budget has the highest quality ad or has an ad that people enjoy seeing. And if they let all these advertisers onto the Facebook platform that are using really low quality, um, spammy and annoying ads, ultimately the people using Facebook are gonna get tired of using the platform, aren't they? If every time you go onto your newsfeed and you see a really annoying ad and it just keeps popping up and you can't get rid of it, after a while you're gonna think, sub this, I'm gonna go over to a different platform because Facebook is just too annoying to use. So that's where that balancing act comes in for Facebook. Yes, they want to make as much money as possible, but they also need to make sure the platform is enjoyable as possible so people keep using it as much as possible. So how do you win the auction then? Bear with me, because it's super, super important that you understand this. If you want to make money sustainably on Facebook or any platform for that matter, any social media platform, because the same principles apply, then what you need to, you need to understand what I'm going to show you in this video. So three things. There's all this text, which is a bit boring. So what I've done is I've condensed it into one kind of easier to understand image. So how to win the auction. Number one is the advertiser bid. So the bid placed by an advertiser, if your budget is two pounds per day and my budget is 10 pounds per day, then ultimately I'm going to have some form of an advantage to a degree, okay? Next is estimated action rates. So this is an estimate of whether the person will engage slash convert from your ad, i.e., is it a good ad that resonates with your audience? So <clears throat> I, I think a common mistake that I see a lot of people making, certainly people I work with on a one-to-one -one basis, is that when they're making their creatives, they're thinking about the product rather than the audience. And sometimes it's better to think about that the piece of content or the creative that you're making, try and make it as if you're not selling the products. Try and make a creative that features the product in, of course, but don't just make it about buy this product, buy this product, buy this product try and make the content an enjoyable piece of content to watch. So you're almost selling people on the product without them realizing that hands down is the best combination. Then we have ad quality. So the quality of the ad overall de determined from many factors. Feedback from viewers. So if you get a lot of people hiding the ad, that's a bad thing, of course. But unless your ad is like super, super terrible, it's, it's not gonna happen that often. And assessments of low quality attributes. So just to prove this has come from Facebook too. Um, 
sensationalized, so assessments of low quality attributes. So what I'm going to show you now is what low quality attributes are in Facebook's own words. So if your ads are doing any of these things, or if your Shopify store is doing any of these things, then your results will not be optimal. You will be getting penalized. The annoying thing is, is Facebook doesn't tell you if you're being penalized because if it did point it out for you, then you could solve certain things, couldn't you? And ultimately improve the performance. There are little things it does with the ad relevance diagnostics, which we'll go over in a second, that you'll be able to plug into any existing ads to see where you're going wrong. I don't see a lot of people talking about this either. So if you haven't seen this yet, it's gonna completely blow your mind. It completely change your outlook on running ads. So if you're doing any of these things, you need to stop what you're doing and get it changed. Withholding information, it's not usually relevant from what I've seen in the dropshipping space. Sensationalized language. So this is putting lots and lots of words with capital letters in your ads and over-exaggerating headlines and things like that. So if, you do, if you're doing something like that in your primary text or in your ad creatives, in the headline at the bottom here, then ultimately it could be penalizing you ever so little. Engagement bait. If you're saying like this post or tag a friend to see this or something like that in your ad, it's gonna be penalizing you. The one I wanted to show you the most, so this is all. This also contributes to ad quality is people hiding it, people reporting it. But the two most important to people watching this in a dropshipping space will be landing page bounce rates. So we wanna make sure that your page loads nice and quickly. Attributes of low quality ad landing page experience, okay? I can guarantee that probably 90 plus percent of the people watching this video that have a Shopify store live up and running will be getting penalized because of this. They lack substantive or original content. What this means is that if your Shopify store is using stock imagery taken from suppliers like this image here on the left hand side, your landing page experience lacks substantive original content. Therefore, your ads will be getting penalized. Think about it especially in the dropshipping space because it's quite competitive, there's going to be quite a few people selling the same products as you, most likely. If, and therefore, targeting a similar audience. So if there's a person on Facebook that keeps seeing the same looking piece of content, and when they click it, they get taken to a Shopify store that has the same imagery over and over again, that person's going to get annoyed, isn't it? Because they keep seeing the same thing. So Facebook's going to penalize those people that just keep recycling existing content. Sometimes I will do it for a couple of weeks just to test the means of a product, but I always try and transfer and move away from it as soon as possible because it can harm the longevity and quality of your ad account too. So you need to, I posted a video tutorial last week on how you can transfer images like this one on the left into this one on the right. So this one on the right is 100% original. You won't find it on any other website because I created it myself. And that is what you have to do for the products you've got on your website if you're planning on running a profitable and sustainable business. The next thing I want to show you as well is, where is it? Advertisers are expected to understand and comply with relevant policies regardless of low quality attributes. There's something, or let me see if I can find it. Okay, so this is it, really, really important, okay? Together, estimated action rates and ad quality measure ad relevance. Because these are components of the auction, this is gonna tie in with this traffic light system in a second, so stick with me. Because these are components of the auction, an ad that's more relevant to a person could win an auction against ads with higher bids. So it doesn't always come down to who has the bigger budget. It also comes down to how enjoyable your creative is to watch. And you can find out that information. So if you've run any ads, any past ads up to this point, and they haven't worked out for you, what you need to do is come over to this page here and you need to plug it into this system. So I'll show you what this looks like. If we come into an ad account, this is an ad of mine that I've spent just under 2000 US dollars. Refresh these for you too. So just under $2,000 and it's a 5X ROAS essentially. So just under $10,000 in sales. The three that you're looking at look is quality ranking, which is average, engagement rate ranking, which is above average, and conversion rate ranking, which is average. In my experience, the most important one of these is engagement rate ranking. Two reasons. Number one, if people are engaging with your ad content, then in Facebook's eyes, it means they're enjoying it because they're stopping and engaging with it. They want people to engage on the platform because the higher their engagement rates are, 
the more money they can charge to advertisers. So engagement is super, super important. And number two, when somebody engages with your ad, whether they share, whether they comment, that sort of thing, then people on their friends list also gets notified, which means your ad gets organic reach. Organic reach is reach that you haven't paid for. So engagement is super, super important. This is why when you're creating your creative or having someone make your creative, try and make it as less salesy as possible. Try and think, how can I make this more engaging? How can I make somebody want to watch this creative? Okay, super, super important. So if we have a look at these, I mean, this is probably a bad example, in fact, to plug into here because this ad has performed really well. But what you need to do is go to ads and then it will show you the quality ranking, engagement rate and conversion rate, okay? Then what you need to do is head over to this system. Look, we have the same rankings, quality, engagement and conversion and then you plug it in. So for example, if you have, in my instance, everything is average or above, you're all good, optimize for your advertising objective, there's nothing we need to do. If we have a quality ranking that is average or above, an engagement rate that's average or above, or a conversion rate, which is below average, then your ad isn't producing conversions. So you need to improve the call to action of your ad or post click experience. Ignore the first one, it's not really relevant for people in a dropshipping space watching this video. It's the post click experience. It's your website, your Shopify store, your landing page, which isn't doing its job. That's where you need to shift your time, attention and focus and make changes to your landing page in order to convert more people. Quality engagement conversion. We have an average or above quality, a below average engagement and an average or above conversion this ad isn't spurring interest. You need to improve your ad's relevance. This is probably the most applicable for people who are gonna be watching this video. You need to improve your ad's relevance to your audience. For example, by making it more engagement, engaging, a better creative, making it more interesting or eye-catching, so a better hook, those first three seconds of the video, or that first line of the primary text at the top, or targeting an audience more likely to interact with this ad. So you need to go back to the ad set, swap out the interests, swap out the genders, swap out the country, whatever it may be, you need to target somebody differently that's gonna resonate more with your message. Okay, so summary, avoid those low quality attributes, stick to as much original content as possible and check the quality rankings, the engagement rate rankings and the conversion rate rankings, i.e. the ad relevance diagnostics of any ads you've run in the past and this will highlight where the potential problems are. Before you go any further, I want to show you my real dropshipping community. I'm running an awesome deal where you get seven free days, full access, free for seven days until the end of Black Friday, okay? I created the real dropshipping community for people who want access to a one-to-one -one mentorship but don't have hundreds and thousands of dollars to invest into one. This is a really, really awesome community. I only started it a few weeks ago. And if I just draw your attention to the side here, two of 16, we have 16 pages of people saying positive things and getting positive results inside the community already. It is such an awesome community. I know I'm biased in saying this, but it really is. So I really do want to invite you to head to the top link in the description below and just go across and check it out. 100% risk-free, for free for the first seven days. You get access to personalized one-to-one -one video feedback if you're currently stuck, unlimited one-to-one -one feedback on your store, unlimited one-to-one -one feedback on your ads, unlimited one-to-one -one feedback on your products. You can meet with me every Wednesday in a live Q&A, 100% risk-free, you can cancel any time with one click. So you can join for seven days, get a video review, get an ad review, get re feedback on your products. If you're currently stuck, I help you become unstuck. And then if you think actually all that one-to-one -one help wasn't worth or isn't going to be worth $49, then you can cancel anytime, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.